Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape, and today I'm playing a puzzle video game. Today I'm taking a look at a puzzle game that a lot of puzzle enthusiasts have recommended I check out. The game that I'm playing today is called TikTok, A Tale for Two, and I know nothing about the game other than that it's a puzzle game, and also that I need to play it with a second person. Hey everyone, I'm Liz. I'm Anthony's wife. So the two of us are gonna work together to try to figure out this puzzle game and how we get through it. Neither of us has seen any gameplay of this before this point, uh, so we're going into this kind of completely blind. So Liz, you all ready to get started? I'm ready. So from my understanding, we uh, click start, and then at some point it's gonna ask us to pick player one or player two, and we just have to each pick a different player. So do you wanna be player one or player two? I'll be player two. Okay, I'll be player one. I'm gonna click, let's click it on the same time, okay? Okay. Three, two, one, click. So I, I was told that we each got a package containing a strange clock. I should point out that the reason that Liz and I are recording separately is because depending on which player we selected, we're going to see very different things on our screen, and part of the way that we get through these puzzles is by communicating with each other. Oh, I see. So, like, I have a screen now with stuff on a desk, and I can, like, yes. click on it. I have not tried to click on anything, but I also have a desk. It has a clock on it, it has an eraser, a paper clip, and a note that says, Dear Player 2, I sent one clock to you and one to your friend. If... If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Uh, remember to wind the clock. Okay, mine says, Dear Player One, this clock is part of a game, a gift I made for my sister, to have a fighting chance, play with a friend, and tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I miss her. Oh, I can scroll. If you scroll with the mouse wheel, oh, we get yeah. very different, we scroll down the desk. Oh, and my note was signed by Amali. Yeah, that's the name I see as well. There is a clock up here. Mine too. What do you... Mine says Tuesday, 8 2020. That's today's today. date. <laughs> yeah, mine says the same. Um, I have the last part of a note sticking out of the box from Tuesday, March 14th, 1937. Interesting. I have um, a newspaper clipping in mine, so... So my, my title at the stop starts another disappearance, and then the letters S-T-R-I... What does yours start with? E-S, and then it says our village, period. Okay, so I think it's supposed to say another disappearance strikes our village, but we're both missing the K and whatever part of the E that you're missing. So the author is Mark D. Hansen, and it says the youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, Leerk, was reported missing today, yesterday. Her sister, Amali, told us she has last seen her at 10.30. Okay, and then I have a picture of um, Raven's clocks. I believe I have a clock next to my box. I do too, yeah, like a stopwatch. Yeah, well, does it have Laerc and then the years? I have Amelia and then one year. And then it says 1917 to 1937, which is when this newspaper clipping is from, because I have Tuesday, March 14th, 1937. Oh, okay, so these are birth and death. So that's, that's that's what it appears to be for this Learc. I just have Amelia, 1915-2, and then there's no second date, because she's still alive, I guess. Or Maybe. at least she was when she sent this to us. Yeah. So on the right side of mine, there's quite a few words that are cut off. Okay. Um. So I think the first word is maybe understandably distressed. She corrected her statement, and it must have been an sometime a half later. Like, the sometime is cut off. I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, can you open your watch? Click and, click and slide, like, on a phone, because yep. this is uh, mobile-friendly. Okay, so I have a watch here that's cracked on the right side, and the time is, mine is 7 o'clock. Mine is not cracked, and I don't know what time it started at, because I've been playing with it for a while. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> it's hopefully not important. So, um, I think we need to go to whatever time... Oh, wait, I had the time. My newspaper said her sister Amelia told us she had last seen her at 10.30. So do you think we're supposed to turn these to 10.30? Setting my watch to 10.30 did not do anything. There were no times in your paper? You said something about time, but it was cut off? Yeah. It says, um, it must have been an... And then whatever words are there, and then it says a half later. So I don't know oh, if it's like... an hour and a half later. That's the only word that could go there, right? So an hour and a half later than my 10.30. And I'm winding up... Mine's doing stuff. Oh, I'm going somewhere. 
I have it, just both of them set it. Oh, 12. I just didn't do it enough. Okay. I winded it up enough now. It says chapter one. Laerc went missing in 1937, but it all started years before. Mine says, this is a copy I made of the world that Laerc and I used to know. Okay, I'm hitting my arrow. Me too. Oh, we're going back. Whee! I see a raven and a clock. And a push buttons, please. Um, I see a clock. Raven just flew away. Okay. I see railroad tracks in the distance. Same. Stairs going up like a hill. Oh, wow, I scrolled somewhere. You can, like, slide the whole screen left and right to go places. Oh, wow. Okay, so do you have Raven's clocks? Yes. Okay. Do you have, like, a little... Uh, what is that? A well? Um, like, with Going lanterns? to the left? Yes. Yes. You see a house with... Three big windows and then one tiny window and a little half window? Yes. Um, I have a grid here at the train station. Do you have a grid? I do. Okay, I'm clicking on the grid to get closer. It looks like some kind of video game where you have, like, arrow keys to move. What I have a little train in one of my grid cells. Yes, I do too. Um, one of my buttons is missing, though. Me too. I'm missing the right arrow key. So I'm thinking that we need some. We need to find this button before we can solve this. Okay, my time changed as well. It went from midnight to eleven o'clock. Huh? You're you're running out of time, Liz. Y yeah. So it seems. Okay. I'm, I'm fine. Um. All right. Where do you want to go next? I'm making sure everything's still the same at eleven o'clock. Oh wait. Oh crap! It turned to ten. Okay, the more times you scroll through all the pictures, it takes you, like, another hour back, it seems. Oh, yeah. So what happens if I scroll this way? It goes the other way. So, yeah, scrolling around in a okay. circle takes you forward or backwards in yes, time. So, so do you want to go left to the clock place? Yes. Okay. Raven's Clocks. This is the place that I had a picture of in my newspaper clipping, by the way. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I clicked on it, and it says opening hours 3 to 9. Me too. Okay, now I'm at the well? Uh, me too. Okay, and I'm walking toward the well, because I clicked on it. Oh, me too. Okay, now I have the ladder. Uh-huh. And I'm scrolling downward to go down the ladder into the well. Going down. Oh! I see vines. I see arrows and trees and stuff arrows and trees okay do you have a little what looks like a lockbox maybe yes okay i'm just you... pulling the lever repeatedly okay <laughs> what do you have that does nothing for me um okay so do you have little rectangular boxes with different arrows and shapes and squares and stuff in it shapes and squares and stuff yeah okay i have three buttons in six of those. Uh, sorry. Three of the six are buttons. Me too. Correct. Are yours the bottom left, the top middle, and the bottom right? Yes. Mine are the other three. Okay. And do your shapes look like they're cut off at the top of the squares? No, they look like full shapes. I see a triangle in the middle of the white square, okay? Sure. It's colored in black. Mm-hmm. And there is a stick coming out of the bottom center of it. So maybe I need to switch mine until I see that. Okay. Okay, I have that in my cell now. The top right, I see the same shape and symbol, A but it's white. A triangle? Yes. The outline is black, but the middle is white. Okay. And in the bottom middle? I see a square with a black outline, and the center is white. The same orientation as the other two. Okay. Hey, that worked for me. Okay. Okay, so I need to give you my three shapes. Yes. In the bottom left, it's the same as your bottom center. It's just a square that's white in the middle. Okay, let me get there. Yep. Okay. Okay, in the top middle, it's a circle that's white in the middle. Okay. And in the bottom right, it's a circle that's black in the middle, a filled-in circle. I'm pulling the lever. Oh, hey, something opened up. You can slide the door all the way to the left. It's my button. I have my button also. Okay, I guess we now have an inventory off to the right side. Yep. Do you want to go left one more time and check out the last place? Sure. Okay. All right, so I'm at the house now. 
Me too, I'm walking in. Me too. I see like what looks like a jack-in-the-box. And there is a shadow of a bird's cage off to the left side. Oh, I see very different stuff. I see a light bulb. Okay. Um, I clicked on the button and the light bulb turned on. <laughs> okay. And a little moth flew over and is now like just smacking itself against the light bulb repeatedly. It's kind of silly. Okay, well I'm gonna spin my jack-in-the-box. I, I also have like a train. Like a locomotive, like an engine. Is it tracing a, a map? No, oh. at least not yet. But when I clicked on the light bulb button, um, a bunch of words appeared at the top of my page. I'm gonna try turning my locomotive now. Okay, yeah, this jack-in-the-box and this uh, bird cage shadow is the only thing I have. Okay, hold on, I think I might have some instructions for you. Okay. So it says, Laerc, I hope you like your present. Turn it anti-clockwise three times. One, two, three. Clockwise twice. One, two. Counterclockwise twice. So I did it once, twice. Okay. And then keep turning it clockwise until something hopefully happens. This moth is so silly. Oh my gosh, something popped out. <laughs> and I have half of a ticket, which looks like it has a map on it. Oh, good. I hope it's for the train thing. Yeah, there's nothing else that I can do in this little house from what I'm seeing. Okay, so what do you want to do? Uh, I guess let's set ourselves to somewhere between 3 and 9 o'clock and go in the watch shop. Okay, I'm at 4 o'clock. Okay, should we turn to the left? Okay, left. And go in Raven's Clocks. Let's go in Raven's Clocks. Okay, we walk in. I have what looks like stairs to the right and maybe a jukebox type of thing. I also have that and I can scroll up and I see a lot of clocks and a, basically just oh lots of my. stuff. Oh my. If you have, oh. do you have this jukebox at all? Yes. Okay. Put your lever all the way to the left if it isn't already. It already is. Do you have words that show up there? No, but when I start moving to the right they show up. Yes, same here. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so I think I have the first sentence then. Okay. The oldest raven daughter, Amali, is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps... Footsteps are usually followed by the ticking... Uh, sorry, I gotta find it. The ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. Okay, so my next thing is... The Raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night. To be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. 18th. Okay, so we're at the 18th in 1927. Uh, another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Mrs. Jensen's. Another pet. Sweet old farm dog. Oh. Remember to lock your doors until this thief has been caught. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless... Birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. Oh, that's good news. Is it? Well, it's better than missing pets and dead birds. An unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the raven family. Let's hope for her sake that it will not go missing like those other pets. Oh no, so the bug wasn't her pet, it was the white raven. And something's targeting... Birds and pets. This is not a good day to be a raven pet. Let's see what's on this roof. Um, I have two feathers. I have a... Looks like maybe a scroll of paper, but I can't do anything with it. It doesn't look like. Alright, and then at the very, very top I have a calendar. Okay, I have a news article. Okay, news. Wednesday edition. Wednesday. Hold on. Wednesday. Check. 
Okay. It says in Raven's Clock Shop, you can buy all kinds of clockwork, request commissions, and get your old clock repaired. And it has a picture of Raven's Clock, like the one that we clicked on to come in. Okay. Today, grand opening of the clock shop. Okay, um, there was something about the grand opening in the radio as well, right? Yes, they had their grand opening on the 18th. Right? Oh, on the 18th, was it? Yeah. Okay, I, I know. So. I know it was March because I think I had the March. Okay, so March 18th. That does look like a Wednesday. How do I get there? I can't. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. I did it. It opened. Good. I got the other half of the ticket. Good. Okay, so my button fit in my uh, train station device, and can you read me the beginning of the ticket? Yes, I'm getting there now. Okay. Okay, the train is in the bottom left corner, mm -hmm. correct? Okay, you want to go up one space, mm -hmm. up one space, mm -hmm. to the right, mm -hmm. to the right, mm -hmm. to the right, mm -hmm. down, mm -hmm. down, mm -hmm. and you're going to eventually go to the right. Right. Oh, good. Okay. All right, so you go ahead to the train. I'm going up, up, right, 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 down, down, right. Okay. Okay. So go up. 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 Right. 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 Up. Up. Right. Is that the last thing? Yep. Okay. I'm going to wait here and not press the right until you also get here in case I lose this. All right. Okay, go up, mm -hmm. go up, mm -hmm. go up, mm -hmm. go to the right, mm -hmm. to the right, mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. to the right. Stuff's happening. Same scene. It's only a noise, though. Okay, I'm going out of this close view. I see a train in the background. Me too! And I'm going to it. Me too! Chapter 2. 